Hello, good morning. I am Seema Gar. Today, video eighty-four, lecture twenty-two. It is for BSc Part One, Organic Chemistry, Paper Two. Reactions of alkenes. In continuation of earlier lecture, today we will see the addition of water molecule in presence of dilute sulfuric acid or dilute phosphoric acid. so we will get uh, here uh, addition of water is uh, also according to markovnikov rule addition of hypohalous acid it will form halohydrin it is again according to markovnikov rule in unsymmetrical alkenes see here how it will form first halogen is added and then in second step water molecule will abstract oh, sorry add to this and then this protonated halohydrin will evolved one proton and it will give halohydrin it is in transform hydroboration or and oxidation diboron in presence of tetrahydrofuran it will dissociate into two part and this borohydrin uh, will react uh, to this molecule according to the markovnikov rule and uh, to another molecule will react propene and it will form tri propyl boron and then oxidize with hydrogen peroxide in presence of alkali it will form three molecules of propenol and boric acid so here addition is according to markovnikov rule but we are getting product is according to anti markovnikov rule see here here we are getting one propenol right so sometime it is asked in the competition exam so it is hydroboration and oxidation reaction see here it is hydroboration and oxidation reaction next reaction is oxymercuration and demercuration here mercuration mercury diacetate and water molecule in presence of tetrahydrofuran and then it is reduced with uh, sodium borohydride in presence of alkali and it will give alcohol oxymercuration and demercuration is highly regioselective and involves the addition of hydrogen and oh water means water to carbon carbon double bond in accordance with the markovnikov rule as follows see here right then oxidation reaction alkenes are easily oxidized then alkanes the active site for oxidation is alkenes is carbon carbon double bond with cold aqueous or dilute alkaline kmn4 it will form this uh, diol one to diol compound see how it is reacted this test is also used for unsaturation in organic compounds 
the decolorization of pink color of dilute KMnO4 indicates the presence of unsaturation in organic compound. Here we will get the cis or syn hydroxylation reaction. One to dial it will form a in cis form. Similarly, osmium tetroxide it will also oxidize alkene. It will again form syn addition product means cis one to dial. Oxidation with oxygen in presence of silver catalyst at uh, 300 degrees centigrade temperature, it will form this epoxy alkane or oxyrene. Oxidation with concentrate alkaline KMnO4, concentrate alkaline KMnO4 will cleave this carbon-carbon bond and it will form the uh, corresponding carbonyl compound. Epoxidation. Oxidation with per acids. This per acid when reacted with alkene, it will form epoxy compound. Ozonolysis. When ozone, it will form triozonide and then in presence of zinc, it is hydrolyzed and it will cleave this carbon-carbon bond and it will give corresponding carbonyl compound. Complete oxidation of or combustion. Uh, see here. CNH2N, uh, it will require oxygen 3N upon 2 and it will form number of uh, corresponding N carbon dioxide and N water molecule. Polymerization. The process by which a number of molecules identical or different join together to form a bigger molecule of high molecular weight with a, or without the loss of small molecule, water, NH3, etc. is called polymerization. Types of polymers, homopolymers and copolymers. Homopolymers, for example, N molecules of ethene and traces of oxygen when it is uh, reacted in presence of uh, 200 degree centigrade temperature, 1500 atmospheric pressure, it will form polyethylene low density polymer. When this reaction is carried out at lower temperature and lower pressure, that is six to seven atmospheric pressure and 70 to 80 degree centigrade temperature, in presence of Ziegler Nata, cat Nata catalyst, it is uh, made up of triethylene aluminum and trichloride or tetrachloride, titanium trichloride and tetrachloride. It will give us high density polythene. When propene is reacted, Ziegler Nata catalyst in presence of it will form polypropylene. When ethyl acetate or ethyl acrylate react with peroxide in presence of peroxide, it will form polyethyl acrylate. It is a tough and rubber-like product, PVA. Acrylonitrile and molecules of acrylonitrile, when they are reacted in presence of peroxide, it will form polyacrylonitrile. Vinyl chloride and molecules of vinyl chloride, when they are reacted in presence of peroxide, it will form polyvinyl chloride. It can easily be molded. When tetrafluoroethene is uh, N molecules will react in presence of oxygen, traces of oxygen or peroxide, it will form taflon. It is used for non uh, manufacturing of non stick uh, utensil, insulators, coating wires, and they are flexible. Copolymers. Copolymers are uh, when N molecule, different type of uh, 
reactant means uh, here we are using uh, ethene and uh, styrene so n molecules of ethene when reacted with n molecules of styrene it will form polystyrene polymer types of polymerization addition polymerization and condensation polymerization addition polymerization are also of three types free radical polymerization cationic polymerization anionic polymerization free radical addition polymerization when peroxide it will uh, in presence of uv light or higher temperature it will dissociate into free radical and then uh, again it will dissociate into alkyl free radical and molecules of carbon dioxide and this alkyl free radical it is reacted with uh, ethene and uh, again uh, ethene it will polymerized molecule similarly n molecules of uh, this uh, vinyl chloride acrylonitrile tetrahydro tetrafluoroethene it will give the corresponding product cationic polymerization reaction bf uh, boron trifluoride when reacted with water molecule it will uh, Take this hydroxy anion, and it will give H ion. This H ion, when reacted with isobutene, it will form this tertiary carbocation, and this carbocation is again reacted with isobutene. It will form this product, and it is formed on polymerization. It will form polyisobutylene. Anionic polymerization. Anionic polymerization, when uh, nucleophile or anion when reacted with this acrylonitrile, uh, then it will form this reaction and it will polymerize and polyacrylonitrile it will form polyacrylonitrile. So thank you very much for today's lecture.